guys, I'm finally doing it. It's taken months. I'm finally doing it. So some of you may remember months back, I got a bag from Viking Bags, the magnetic tank bag. And that was my first ever review of anything on my channel. And I was pleasantly surprised that Viking Bags even offered to send me the bag, but I was even more surprised that they sent me a second bag with that one, uh, the Viking Bags uh, motorcycle messenger bag. And I've been saying for months I was going to do a review on this bag, and I wanted to do a long-term review because this is a nice bag. I wanted to give it justice. So let's backtrack a little bit, though. As many of you may know, I work in IT. Now, when I started writing, I, I had struggled with how do I transport my laptop and I, I MacGyvered some solutions with the uh, sissy bar bag I had bought from Viking Bags shoving the laptop in the laptop bag, a towel at the bottom of the bag to absorb shock and then shoving the laptop inside the bag but you know it's, it's kind of kind of takes up a lot of space and a little bulky and it's not really efficient I just suffered with a leaving my motor my laptop at home and not taking it with me to work which you know my boss kind of frowned upon from time to time and I, I understand i'm it i'm supposed to have it with me so lo and behold when viking bag sent me this bag it was like an answer to prayer i i just and, and bonus it's in my favorite color uh olive green or deep forest green what do you want to call it i don't know but it's green i like it I love this road. Oh, just straight peg. Anyways, so yeah, I've got got that bag from them at the same time as I got the other bag, but I've been wanting to do this review sooner than now, but <laughs> I swear everything has been getting in my way, preventing me from doing that review, whether it be getting sick, rain on the days I wanted to do it, because you know Let's be real, in the winter time, my time to do these reviews are pretty limited. But you know what, we're not here to talk about my time, we're not here to talk about anything else, we're here to review the bag. I gotta say, this is one of the best purpose-built bags I have ever used. The bag is well constructed, it's, in, it's good quality, it does have a few minor caveats against the bag, and I'll get into those caveats uh, when I stop to get a closer look at the bag. But I think for now I'm going to enjoy this road, and I'll see you at the end of the road. Alright, so I stopped at the end of the highway, where the Bull Shoals Dam. Sun's starting to set, so I'll try to keep you pointed away from it. But this is the Viking Bags Motorcycle Messenger Bag. It is a really great bag. It's very durable. The buckles on this thing are probably some of the beefiest buckles I've seen on a laptop. And the straps are like... Uh, double straps, double stitch. I, I don't think I've seen a sturdier messenger bag. Plus, there's a little bit of foam padding all throughout this bag. So I suspect that in a motorcycle accident, your laptop would actually survive that crash. Um, now, I do have one complaint about these straps. And the fact that these straps are not adjustable. I would like these straps to have just a little bit more expandability. And I'll show you in a minute why that is. Now, the inside of the bags is pretty spacious. For what I refer to working in IT as uh, my minimum kit. The laptop, uh, iPad or tablet if I need it. The cables, cords, extensions. Uh, power bricks and things like that. But if you look inside, I got the iPad Pro. You got room for an iPad. It's got a tablet slot in front of the uh, laptop slot. And I actually could fit a full size uh, Lenovo, like a desktop replacement laptop in here. That's what I had before this. And you got the uh, Ethernet adapter, power cord, uh, Ethernet cables. And you've got a little bit of room in here where you can fit. Other small stuff, I usually fit my candies in here to control my blood sugar. And you can fit like a 16 ounce bottle, but anything more than that, you tend to start to kind of want to stuff the bag. And if the bag expands this way too much, you don't really have the expandability in the bag or the ability to kind of overstuff the bag. The nice thing about the bag, it has a document flap in the back. Uh, which I do occasionally use sometimes, but that kind of brings me to the one of the caveats about this bag that, uh, and that's the fact that the bag itself is water resistant, 
but this f top flap doesn't secure so well around the sides. Usually there's like a corner exposed, or if you happen to have a little more than the bag should, they don't really seal very well. So if you get into anything more than a light drizzle, there's a chance that the inside, some water will get inside your bag. And for someone who works in IT who has electronics in his bag, probably worth two to three thousand dollars, that's not really a good thing to happen. And that also goes for the, the document flap. There's no real, you know, weather seal here. So if you carry documents, make sure it's not going to rain. Now, the bag, how I have it secured, is the same way I secure my, my roll bag and my sissy bar bag. I kind of strap them around the light. The bag does have instructions online. I didn't know there were instructions for these straps and how they're supposed to be used until after I've been using the bag for a month. The bag itself doesn't come with instructions. The instructions they have show the these straps kind of looping around the the sissy bar in, in some form or fashion, which, you know, to me, th this method seems to be a lot easier and it's actually more common for a lot of the bags I use, a sissy bar bag, roll bag, and whatnot. So for somebody that works in IT, or if somebody needs to transport a laptop on the back of a motorcycle, this is a really great option. This is probably one of the best motorcycle laptop bags I have ever used. And as I said, it is one of the best purpose-built bags, uh, you know, for this purpose specifically, but just best purpose-built bags in general that I have ever had the chance and the joy to use. So as far as bags, from Viking bags, this bag gets a 10 out of 10 for me, despite the little caveats on it. I mean, those things are nitpicks for me because I work in IT and they're just little things that I would notice. Your, your everyday person may not pick up on those things. And they might, I don't know. As far as laptop bags, this is probably one of the best laptop bags I have ever used for a daily use, transport, carry of laptop. And the only laptop bag I've ever used that works with a motorcycle. So, I mean, you, you've done a great job, Viking Bags. Great job. Viking Bags, you need to make one of these because I, I really want one of these bags with, with better zippers. Anyways, if you like what you see on this channel, I really would appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and comment. go ahead and comment below. I, I enjoy having a conversation with you guys. But for now, I'm going to fight until I get this bag closed so I can get home, and I'll talk to you guys later. Keep the two wheels on the ground, shiny side up, Ride safe and God bless. Peace out. Stupid bag. How many times will I have to zip this stupid thing? Oh gosh. Okay. Ah, I got it. Yay. No, I didn't. Gosh dang it.